Hello everybody, I'm Thomas. Welcome back to another video. This time I'm back with some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel where I will be playing some competitive Master Duel with... I'll be using my Magician of the Pendulum deck. This is one of the decks that you could just buy off the shop. I'm still working on getting a good meta deck built. I need a lot of dust, mainly the ultra rare dust to get it, so I'm working towards that. But for now, this is the deck that I'm most comfortable with, with kind of the decks you can get from the shop, so that's the one I will be playing today. Hopefully it goes okay. Master Duel, when you play in like the ranked mode, it can be pretty brutal, so I'm probably gonna get stomped on, but let's see how it goes. I see my my rank isn't uh, too high, but okay, cool. We got a match already versus Tully. Do I get to choose to go first? Um, I think most of the time I do want to go first, but at this point I don't get a choice, so oh well. Okay, I'm going first. Uh, all right, I'll take that. So this is a Magician of the Pendulum deck, so it mainly focuses with Pendulum summoning. I guess I'm not the best with this deck. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully I can make something work. So the main thing I want to look at right now, none of these are great. I mean, it's kind of a good pendulum number. So at the top right of the card, I see it like that two. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to have them down there. Actually, that was probably a mistake because that was the only card I could actually normal summon. So I really should have put something else as the pendulum. The main reason I wanted them there is for their pendulum effect. They got pretty good things. So um, if I prefer... For a Performer Pal Monster, a special summon, there's Pendulum summoned, all Performer Pal Monsters gain a thousand attack. What just happened? What was that? Oh boy, they're doing stuff. Wyvern Stovey? Okay. I don't know what that does, but can't be good. They're doing a lot of stuff on my turn. I'd like to do some more stuff. Um, so this card's okay. What are they doing now? Trap card? I'm just trying to play a card. Yeah, that's all. Um, this card is okay. I don't know if I could have played this first, but I really should have if I could have. Um, I'm just going to set this face down there for now. And there's not much else I could do. I could use these for the P scale, but they would be awful. This I could use, but it wouldn't really be helpful. So I think, do I really just play nothing? I don't think I don't have much I could play. So I, I don't know if I could have played this amazing pendulum first. But if I could have, then I made a huge mistake not doing that. But I just need another decent scaled monster. And then I could spawn both of these in. Um, yeah, we'll see what they do, but I'm not off to a good start. I could say that much. Oh, that's cool. Um, for them, not for me. Of course, I have no monsters to block, so it's just going to be a direct attack for them. Yeah, that hurts. Um, but hopefully Heart of the Cards is in my favor and I get some good, like I said, some numbered monster I could put down for the Pendulum scale so I could just start summoning stuff. This card is not what I needed. Okay, so this is maybe good. Okay, so wait, maybe... I think this is the best option. I play this guy. Um, whatever, use its effect. I don't really need its effect. But then... I basically use this card. It's 2,900. That's going to be a tough thing to beat. I basically need to get two monsters out so I can special summon stuff for my extra deck. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. They have two face down cards. They're probably going to stop me. This probably has some you know, paragraph of text. Okay, did they summon another one? Cool. So then I will send... The main thing I want to do is some low level but high attack. Four, three. That's 2,000. That's 2,000. Um, I want a good pendulum number, too. So this one, what's the pendulum effect? Um, yeah, maybe not that one. But I want a high pendulum. This one? Okay, sure. I just want like an uh, something on the high end so I can pendulum some of them. Because then I think I could do this. Let's see if this works. I play that. I activate it to target the donkey I just played. Destroy that. And then I can add a card to my hand. So I will choose this Mirage Dragon, which is an eight pendulum scale. So then I can pendulum, put it at the end or whatever you call it. Pendulum summon both of these guys. Now we're cooking. So placing that there. And this over here. It's not enough to kill them. Oh, I can't fusion summon. Okay, what is this effect? Okay, maybe I'll make it a dragon type. Maybe they'll let me summon something. Nope, I messed up. I probably should have put one of these in defense mode, if not both of them in defense mode. 
Because right now, they're just going to get attacked. They're going to die. I'm going to take HP, or LP, I guess, um, damage. And this isn't looking too good. I have no cards in hand, which is always a bad sign. So they have three cards in hand, two face down. They have pretty strong monsters that are going to kill mine. The only thing I really have going for me is I do have my pendulum scale all kind of set up. And I do have this card, but that's not going to do me too much good. Because I think I should have played that first, if I could. Once again, I don't remember if I could have, but I, I probably could have. At least if I'm reading the card correctly. But Yeah, that's unfortunate. They really should have been in defense mode. I thought I was going to be able to put them both out and then do something, some summoning from my extra deck. But clearly I wasn't, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know what I was trying to summon. So I don't know, I guess I just didn't have the materials to do it. Heart of the cards, this card's not that great. Um, so there's a couple things I can do, which is nice. So I can, I mean, basically I could just pendulum summon, oh, I could pendulum summon stuff from the extra deck. I kind of, I forgot that's a thing I can do. And I can pendulum summon them. Okay, is that something? Put them out there, put them over here. Can I do stuff from the extra deck yet? Probably not. But that's, if, if not, then that's fine. If I can, that's just an added bonus. Why am I chaining my own stuff? Just let him boost the attack. Whoa, I forgot that's a thing. Um, okay. So then what? Now I use this effect to destroy this. And then get something else out onto the field that will be helpful for me. Okay. So now I can at least go into the battle phase and take out one of these 2,900... Unless they stop me with a trap card, which they might have, like, Mirror Force or something. Oh, boy, what is this? Um, fair Welcome Labyrinth? Is that what that said? That's probably not going to be good for me. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. When a monster declares an attack, while you control a fiend tar monster target, one card on the field, negate the attack, and if you do, destroy the targeted card. And set up one non-Labyrinth trap from your hand or deck. Okay. So wait, are they not, is that card not destroyed? Um, interesting. So then that effect went off. That's all I can do. So I am done for. They, they're just gonna, they're gonna win this turn. There's nothing I can do to stop them. So that's gonna be a GG. I'm just gonna s surrender. There's nothing I can do to win that. Okay, next match. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better than last time. I don't think the last one didn't go terribly. Could have gone better. I may have blundered at the beginning with not being able to play that uh, first card right away, but we'll see what I get this time. And I guess they get to choose if I'm going first or second. All right, so I am going second. And let's get this party started. Okay, well, um, that really wasn't much of a game. They must have just had a bad starting hand because they just immediately conceded, so... Technically a win, but um, we'll just play another one. Okay, here we go. New round. Um, they, they've won every coin flip so far. That's kind of unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. I don't really know if this deck really prefers going first or second. Normally, I think first is a little bit better, just because I can start trying to get pendulum scale stuff down, but we'll see. It depends on my starting hand. If I have just a ton of monsters, that's pretty good. I can kind of get like a good state board state setup with good, like, scale numbers on each end this is not good see i only have one monster and lots of cards um so maybe i can play one of them okay well i can at least play this to add a card to my hand that's something i suppose um so i will yeah use that effect and no i don't want to do that so i'll probably grab this one add it to my hand that is a four scale that's not very helpful um that's a bad scale number. So I think I might just set them down and then I will set that. And I don't really want to use them for their P scale because four is kind of a middle number. So I think I'll just end turn, hopefully get something that'll allow me to draw some cards to get some better monsters out. But this card, uh, this deck doesn't have the best card draw. So, and there's a decent amount of like spells and traps that don't seem great. Like I said, this is kind of an unmodified, just the deck you can buy from the shop so it probably would be better i think if i were to buy three copies and then modify it so like the best cards i have multiple copies of 
stuff like that. Um, that's just not something I have done. So I guess I'm currently working towards uh, been saving up dust and whatnot to build a nice meta deck, but it's still a little bit away. They're playing Toon World. What the heck? Um, okay. Garbage Lord. What is this deck? All right. Okay, they're just taking forever to end their turn. Um, just as long as they don't have any crazy cards, I actually think I might see sort of a play. Um, I think if I basically, I mean, I would, depending on what cards I draw, if I draw something good, maybe that'll change stuff. But I think I'm able to flip summon this guy. Then I'll have a beast. I could play this guy in my pendulum zone. This is a dragon. I use pendulum summon so I can summon something for my extra deck using stuff in my monsters I control as fusion material, and then that won't work because I would need two monsters in my pendulum zone to use cards in my pendulum zone as fusion material. So I am really hoping I draw any monster, any creature that I could put in my pendulum zone so that I can use this and this as material to summon this. And I should think I should be able to do that. Once again, I guess that is all contingent on if I draw another monster and if this person ends their turn and I actually get to play my turn. Um, yeah. They finally ended their turn. All right, come on. I just need any monster that I can put in my pendulum zone. That's not... Okay, well, what is this? Hold on. Add two face-up pendulum monsters with the same but different names from your extra deck to your hand. I can't actually use that. What is this? That doesn't help me. I think I'm screwed. I think I am screwed because that doesn't help me. This doesn't, I mean, I'll place it down just to have something on the board. Um, I mean, I might as well pendulum, put this in the pendulum spot. I don't know. There's no reason for me to because there's nothing I can do with them, at least until I get another monster out. This doesn't really do anything. I could flip some of this and then attack this. I think it would kill it. It only has zero attack, right? So it would kill it unless they have some... I mean, they do have three trap cards, so I don't know what that's going to do. But at this point, I don't see a better option. So I'll see what they do. They already have some card they can trigger and chain off, but... Oh, boy. Okay. So destructive draw. If either player has no cards in their hand, at the start of the draw phase, they could draw one more card in addition to their normal draw. Okay, they have two destructive draws. Interesting. Um, I don't, I don't know what that's about, but clearly they have some plan with trying to draw a lot of cards. They don't really care about their life points. They also, what was this? Lucky punch once per turn when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you could toss a coin three times. If it's three heads, if the result is three heads, draw three cards. If it's three tails, destroy this card. Um, if this card is destroyed, you lose 6,000 life points? What? That's pretty crazy. Okay, so can I not just battle this guy? They used up all their traps, so I think I'm fine, right? Unless I'm missing some ability or I'm just being dumb. Unless they have a hand trap. I don't know. What what would stop me from killing this? This doesn't have any effects. What was this? Oh, okay. This is just going to draw you cards, right? That doesn't... So flipping a coin three times, the three heads, they draw three cards. So that doesn't mean anything then. Okay, cool. So that... Is that just going to do 2100 damage? Okay, I'm fine with that. And then I guess I will end my turn. I just need one other monster, and then I can do some summoning and get some stuff going. But this is kind of brutal. I mean, these cards... This card's useful once I get another monster. This card, you have three or more face-up pendulum monsters with different names in your extra deck. Draw two cards. I mean, I can't get cards in my extra deck because I don't have any cards, so it's an issue. Oh boy, what was that? So they immediately like spawned something and then it died. They lost 2,500 life points. They only have 400 life points. What's what's happening? It was this giant Kazuki. If there's no face up Kazuki, destroy this card. If this face up card is destroyed. Inflict the damage to the original attack to its current controller. So he just did 25 health, 2,500 health, 2,500 damage to himself. What's their plan? They only have 400 LP. And I still have all mine. They don't have any cards. They have one card in hand, but they don't have any monsters. They have destructive draw, so they can like get rid of life points to draw, but that's not going to do them any good. Next time I attack, they're probably going to activate Lucky Punch, but that's just going to maybe draw more cards. If At, at best, at worst, it's going to literally kill them because they would lose 
6,000 life points. I don't really know what their plan was here, but I guess we're about to find out once they end their turn, unless they're just uh, kind of BMing and just letting the clock run out, but who knows. They ended their turn. They didn't play anything, so I think I just win. I just attack and I win. Oh, they killed themselves. <laughs> All right, that's game. Look at that, ranked up. It's a, it's a nice surprise. Still not a very high rank, but I'm getting there. That's gonna do it for this video. I'm trying to keep this one a little bit shorter. Had a lot of fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh. This deck's not the best, I realize that, but uh, it's definitely my favorite of the decks like I can get from the shop. And like I said, it's still building dust to make a decent meta deck, but that's uh, it's almost there, but it's gonna take a little bit more time and dust and collecting and doing all that good stuff. But um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and until next time, I'll see ya.